recently toured the Long Beach facility and another in Texas. Congresswoman, thanks for being with us live here. Um, I know media has not been allowed into the Long Beach location, so we're going to rely on you to paint a picture for us. Well, these are kids who have already been processed through Border Patrol and are now in HHS facilities where you have uh, youth caregivers uh, basically with these kids, uh, making sure they're getting the proper education during the daytime, that they're getting showers or getting clothing. This is a temporary facility where children are going until we can reunite them with families, find their sponsors. And what we've seen in Long Beach, it's a convention center. Uh, there's cots set up. Uh, there's an area uh, that's set up for kids to be able to go and watch television, watch movies, uh, maybe get some live entertainment. Uh, but this is a very temporary facility so that uh, kids who have gone through this very dangerous journey and conditions in their country that are making them flee to come to the United States to make them feel more comfortable until they can be reunited with family. And as of uh, today, well, rather as of Friday, when I toured the facility, there had been 20 kids that had already been reunited with family members. And so there's still some work to do, uh, but they're doing a great job. And I had a chance to speak with some of the kids there who tell you that the conditions there are much better than the conditions and being in Border Patrol, which is what I saw in Friday uh, with the Secretary of Homeland Security. Yeah, what were some of the biggest differences you saw from the Border Patrol experience versus what you saw in Long Beach? Well, the Border Patrol facility is uh, run by Border Patrol. It's a law enforcement agency. They're not really trained to be uh, caregivers or, uh, you know, really they're trying to enforce the law. And so it's very different there. At the Border Patrol facility, uh, families and kids are laying on mats. They have a mylar blanket. Uh, they don't have the ability to, to really do the activities that kids get to do in HHS or Health and Human Services uh, facilities. So very different. The administration has done a remarkable job, huge progress in getting kids out of Border Patrol custody and into the hands of Health and Human Services, which are the folks uh, that uh, you know, take care of kids. Uh, they're able to see a doctor. UCLA was on site. Um, they're in Long Beach providing medical care. So very, very different. And when you talk to the kids, they will tell you about the differences and you can see them uh, when you are visiting both of the sites. Again, one of them is Border Patrol, uh, law enforcement officers. Kids now are spending less than 24 hours in Border Patrol custody down from, you know, 80 hours plus. That is a remarkable accomplishment that is a testament to all the action the administration is doing in taking an all government approach. You know, but critics of the administration say they are not doing a remarkable job in terms of keeping people from coming to this country. Um, they say that the border is closed, uh, but they would reference that some of these people crossing are saying that they feel like they will be more welcomed with a Joe Biden presidency versus what they were in terms of a Donald Trump presidency. So they are coming here, even though Joe Biden is actually saying, don't come here. What do you say to critics of the administration who say that he's making it too easy for people to come here and that some of these scenes are as a result of his policies? Well, the border is closed, and that is actually why you have people coming through the deserts, coming through these uh, rivers, why people are dying, trying to make that journey. It's the desperation in their countries that are causing them to come here to the United States to present themselves for asylum, which is completely legal to do. Unfortunately, we don't, uh, we're not taking migrants at the ports of entry. And so because of that, they are going uh, between the ports of entry. We've got to look and see uh, why people are coming over. And that really is because of what is happening in these Northern Triangle countries. The corruption, you got pandemic, uh, you have hurricanes that made conditions horrible. And if you talk to the kids in the facilities, when I was talking to one kid from Honduras, 10 years old in Long Beach, and asked him you know, how things were going, he was smiling, he had an uncle that was in Connecticut he wanted to get reunited with. The moment I asked him about where he was from and the conditions in his country, he got very sad. Um, he said he was from Honduras. He said it was not a nice place. He talked about the violence and the danger and the harms. Um, and I think that's just an indicator of why these kids are coming over. Frankly, critics want us to just look the other way and to 
close the border in the sense of turning them back to Mexico, which is what the prior administration was doing, and giving these kids and these families to the cartels, where they were being raped, where some of them were being killed. And so this is an issue of values, whether you um, want to uphold the U.S. asylum system, which is completely legal, or you don't want to honor that system and you want to turn people back to dangerous situations. This is the whole reason we have U.S. asylum law, to protect um, and offer people the ability to come to this country and apply for asylum, for protections. All right, Congresswoman Nanette Baragon, we thank you so much for your time. We do know the children have been through just a tremendous journey. Thank you for your insight. We also know that shelter is set to close in August, so what happens after that, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much.